Hey everyone, it is Demo Donna here and welcome to the Happy Birthday Pop-Up Card Class video. This is a kit that I put together for my actual birthday in January. This class sold out really fast, so I added a second date and I wanted to put a YouTube video together for those who missed the class or wanted to watch some of the tips and tricks that we used in this class. This is a pop-up card. So it travels completely flat if you don't put any dimensional foam in it. And you can also create this to fit in your A2 envelope. I think the dimensions for this one exactly are a little bit larger, but you can actually trim the base down if you want. In the kit that the link is below for you. So in that kit, you're going to get enough to make two cards. And then I will also be adding all of the supplies that I use to create this kit, including the dies, the stamp set, more dies, the embossing powder, and of course, other little fabulous things like the cleanup brush by Pink and Main. So make sure you check that out. And you can also use my discount code demo Donna to receive 10% off. So to get started to create the base of your card, this is what comes in your kit. And the card is cut out. So just the black cardstock itself. This is six by nine. So what I did is I first score a half an inch in, and then I score, it's about two and a quarter. So then I scored four more and I'm using one of my scoreboards. And then this guy here is two inches. Oh, no, nope, two and three quarters. Sorry, two and three quarter inches from the top. I did another score line. So that is how I have these measurements. And what you're gonna do first is just go ahead and follow all of your scores, especially if you've ordered the kit and it's shipped to you in an envelope versus you are recreating this. So there are the four scores that I'm doing. Next, what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and we are gonna trim this piece off here. So this is that little flat half inch piece and I trimmed it off of the shorter side. So this is a little bit longer on the base and shorter on the top. Then I'm gonna create a nice little, just cut those in a little bit so when we glue that, you don't have those top edge pieces sticking out. So I just created on that half inch fold, just a little place where we are gonna glue our box together. All right, next, I'm going to cut three cuts here, and that is going to be cut number one, cut number two, and then cut number three. And then we can go ahead and adhere our box together. So I'm gonna use some red liner tape and some craft glue. I'm gonna push down really hard with my fingernail tool and then pick up that backing and get rid of that. Now I'm also gonna take my craft glue and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that right over. I just refilled my glue, so it's nice and full. Nice and full. And now I'm gonna take those two pieces and since you have that glue over your red liner tape, you've got a little bit of wiggle room. All right, once your adhesives dry, I now have these flaps. This is gonna be I'm gonna make this my front right here. So I am going to fold down my front flap and my two sides. One and two. 
and you're gonna leave the back one straight up. So this is what I have now in my box. These three flaps are folded and this back one is straight up. And you could see that still squishes together perfect. And now I have the base of my box. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and we are going to trim the next piece. So you've got an additional piece of black paper here and this is five and three quarters by two and a half. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. So this piece here in your kit is for two of your cards. All right, once you have cut your two strips, and these are gonna be, this is gonna be used for your pop-up insert. So what I do is I simply folded this in half. And now I'm gonna take my ruler and a pencil and from that center point, I am going to measure a quarter of an inch out on each side. And then I'm going to measure a quarter inch in on the end on each side. A quarter inch and a quarter inch. And now we are going to fold. So we folded it in half just to get the center point. But now we're going to kind of straighten that fold and I am going to fold in, straighten that out. You can also score this if you have a scoreboard. I'm going to fold that in. So now this piece here is going to be the base that we're gluing that to one side. So that is going to be glued on one side. And then we are gonna take this other side, these flaps, and we are gonna fold those both in. I went a little over the quarter inch mark on my fold. Now we are gonna put some red liner tape, especially because this is going to be moving around. So, okay, so I am putting some red liner tape on my larger flap and then on these pieces you are putting it on the flap facing this part so this fold and then this one right here so just to go over that i have adhesive here on these two and adhesive here next i'm going to remove now we're gonna add some craft glue, just as a little extra reinforcement. All right, now when inserting this, at first I'm gonna hold these two pieces in a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take my pop-up box and I'm placing this somewhat in the center. And I'm gonna put it down about a quarter of an inch. So right now it looks like that. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna press down my other two flaps. So now basically I have two additional places to glue my balloons. All right, let that dry really well before you try folding your car. Just make sure everything's nice and dry before you do that. So I'm gonna set that aside now. All right, now I have my two pieces of paper. This is a sprinkle paper, and these two sheets are included in your kit. You are going to be using these two sheets for both cards, and the larger one is four by seven, and the smaller one is four by five. And we are gonna cut both of these in half right down the middle, so you have two strips and then you're gonna set the other aside. And I am going to be using my favorite paper cutter, which is the Cutter Pillar Crop. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features, beside for the fact that you've got this arm extension and this is great to go to the crops with you. It's safe, you can't chop your fingers off, which is always important. And are you ready for the best part? It lights up. Okay, so like I said, this is four inches 
and we are gonna cut it down to two. And we're gonna set one aside for our other card. And we are now gonna take this and cut it in half. So it is five and it's five by two. And now it's going to be two and a half by two and two and a half by two. Set those aside and then take this one, which is currently four inches. We're gonna cut it in half. Set this strip aside for your second card and then take this piece and we are gonna cut two and a half inches. There we go. So you now have three panels that are two and a half by two, and then you have one panel, which is two by four and a half. And those are gonna be the panels for the fun flaps of your card. And let's put these on. Okay, so now we are gonna go right back to just assembling our card. I'm gonna add some rolly adhesive, and this is for the large flap, and that is going to be adhered right here to my long piece, and I wanted this to be nice and long so it wasn't cut off right here. So that beautiful sparkle or beautiful sprinkle paper, you kind of disappears inside of your card instead of being cut off. And then I'm going to adhere the three other flaps. There we go. And this is the base of our card. You can give it a good squish now that your glue has dried. Make sure that is gonna travel nice and flat. And now we are gonna set this aside and we are gonna do some heat embossing. So I am gonna take my Versamark and I am gonna take a piece of just computer scrap paper and you do get a sample of the pink tutu embossing powder in your kit. Just a little sample, just enough to do your two cards. And then I'm also gonna show you a trick using the pink and main clear embossing powder. This is not included in your kit. You can skip this step if you do not have emboss clear embossing powder. But in order to do this technique, you do need a clear ink pad. I love my Versamark and then a clear embossing powder. So I am gonna take my ice cream cone. There we go. And I inked it up with my Versamark right over top there. And now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna switch this out because we're gonna use that again. And I am going to grab my coffee filter and we are gonna do a couple layers of clear. So this is going to be layer number one. We are gonna tap that off. Grab your heat tool. You can also use uh, tweezers, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it here on one end and blow the heat away from me. Let that cool for a sec. You could see the difference between the shininess and the grainy where it still needs to be melted right here. So I'm gonna flip that over and finish. And then you can do two or three more layers of this. As you can see right now, it kind of has a little bit of a bubbling look. It doesn't really have a flat, smooth surface. So doing a couple more layers will, will smooth that out where you have a nice, solid, smooth, shiny surface. So I'm gonna do my Versamark again and just repeat this entire technique. And you can also see now that I have two layers, it's much more of a solid clear. I'm gonna do one more just to show you 
like the transformation between each layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up again. And you do wanna make sure it's dry between each layers. Okay, so three was the magic number for me with layers for my ice cream. Now it looks like a nice, smooth, glossy surface. I grabbed all of my pink items. So you're gonna receive four pink balloons, two candlesticks, and four stars. So I'm just grabbing what we are gonna use for this one card. If you wanna emboss all of yours for both cards together, you can of course do that as well. So now I'm gonna take my clear ink pad again. Ink all of your pink guys up. They might need a little help coming off your ink pad, but just make sure that they are all covered in your Versamark ink. You can also do one at a time. Okay, now I'm gonna take, again, you get a little sample in your kit of the pink tutu. I am going to take one at a time. I'm gonna grab the little base of my balloon with my reversible tweezers. I do love that the pink and main jars are nice and large enough where you can actually dip your, your cutouts in them if they are small enough. I'm gonna take my first one and I'm gonna do this process with all of the five items that I inked up. Okay, I have finished up my pink, guys. We are gonna get our paper cutter back out. And I didn't mention to you, if you use code DEMODONNA at Caterpillar, you will receive 15% off any of their products. They currently have an amazing light board. Um, like I said, I love their paper cutters, but there are plenty of cool other products. You can also cut an eighth of an inch out on this thing, which is pretty incredible. Okay, so we are gonna cut out quarter inch strips. So this is four and a quarter, so I'm moving it down to a quarter, and I'm gonna cut cut number one. Then I'm gonna go to three quarters, cut number two, and you're gonna wanna do six of these per card. So just keep cutting down, you have extra. Because I know cutting these smaller strips sometimes are not very easy, so I provided you with plenty. And there is six for this card. Set your piece of acetate aside, or you can just finish cutting it, and that is going to be for your second card. We have our six strips of acetate, and we are gonna put adhesive on the tops and the bottoms of all of these. Okay, I used my 1 8 Easy Tear Tape and I put a larger strip on the bottom and a smaller strip on the top. And now I am going to remove all of the backings. You've got your six pieces. Now you wanna go and make sure you have your six balloon streamers. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I am going to add my little balloon string to each of them. Once you have all six streamers placed, you are going to add your balloons and give them a really good push. Two, three, four. I decided to do five, Okay, so the most important part here is that all of your balloons and streamers are pushed into that tape. Once you've completed that, we can now start assembling. And I am going to first start with the background here. I am gonna add this large circle, and that is from the sunburst die. gonna add my orange 
And then you have two smaller orange and two smaller blue. So I am going to add a blue and orange to each side. So now I've got zigzag circle dies placed and I'm going to grab my happy birthday. You can use double sided foam if you want to pop that up, but I'm just going to do my happy birthday. <coughs> I'm going to take my cupcake. Actually, we'll do our balloons next. Now that our happy birthday is done, we will pop in our balloons. So again, you have these two layers and you could even use this one if you wanna cut out more balloons and you want three layers, you want this filled with balloons. Okay, I am gonna start placing my first row of balloons and you just wanna make sure, so fun. You wanna make sure that they're down far enough where they're not covering up your happy birthday and that you don't have any adhesive sticking out on the bottom. So there is my layer number one of balloons and I have my strings over the front and I have my adhesive on, I'm sticking the adhesive to the backs of these little strips. So there's my blue one, here is my orange one and my pink one. And then I'm gonna just reach down from the bottom and just make sure everything is adhered. So if you have any adhesive sticking out cause you put your balloons down pretty far and some of these little flaps are exposed with adhesive on. So I've got my front flaps, these three still have adhesive. So what's gonna happen if you don't fix that? If you mail that flat, that's gonna be glued it's gonna stick to this front piece of cardstock. So I am just simply going to take a little scrap piece of paper and I would use black actually, but I'm just grabbing the white one here. And I'm just gonna go and cover those up. So now there is nothing sticky. And then I'm gonna take that, I had one sticking out in the back, squeeze that on there. And now look, I've got these little pieces of scrap paper and I'm using white so you can see what I did is I covered up just so no adhesive is exposed. Oh, but I love how fun those balloons just pop up. They're like they're actually in the air, moving around. Okay, and I am gonna now finish assembling my card. So I'm gonna take my cupcake base Set that right there. Okay, so I've got two strips of the double-sided foam tape roll, which I love. And I'm gonna peel the backing off there and pop up my little cupcake. Then I'm gonna add my stars. So here are my stars on my blue zigzag circles. Then I'm gonna take some glue here for my candle and it's, it's bigger on the base and thinner on the top. So I'm gonna put that right about there, just popping up a little bit and then adding a little bit adhesive on the top there to add my flame. Since that's wet adhesive, it's gonna take a little longer to dry. And the last thing you're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my pickup tool and you get some of these beautiful 
HAI Supply, and these are the embossed sequins, and I'll give you the link to these as well. They're really fun. One of my favorite cards, one of our designers made with these sequins on it, and I just love it. So I'm gonna do three, and then I'm gonna do two up here by the happy birthday. And now I'm just gonna grab my sequins and add them, and five. Okay, there we go, our really fun pop-up cards using your pop-up birthday card kit from Demo Donna Design Studio. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you learned a lot and comment below if you have any questions and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.